So we built this house uh, five years ago, um, and pretty much a year after we've been in the house, all these uh, war LED wall lights started to fail. Well, by after a year, they had all failed. Um, they started failing very quickly. So uh, it's taken me five years, but I finally got around to um, getting some time together and trying to figure out what's happened. And I have. I've uh, taken them uh, apart and figured out what went wrong. Um, it goes to show you, you don't necessarily uh, should trust everything an electrician does. Um, I don't know who, which electrician did install these, but they obviously either weren't paying attention or maybe didn't know what they're doing. So what I found, I'll just remove this LED carefully. So I found these ballasts. Not sure if you can see that. But if you can look closely, they're actually so they're a constant current LED driver, which is nothing problem with that. But they're marked three watt, uh, seven hundred milliamp, and um, I'm fine with that. Three watt, seven hundred milliamp. So what I what I found when I put this back in when I open these up let's see if I can get this in without damaging the wall any further. So I just want to see unscrew them. What I discovered, if you look at the LED that he installed, or whoever installed it, you can see that there, one watt. So, whoever, the electrician that installed these LEDs installed a 3 watt 700 milliamp driver with 1 watt 200 milliamp LEDs. So, the um, they were, each LED was being overdriven by uh, 500 uh, milliwatts, uh, 500 uh, milliamps. Um, I'm surprised they uh, some of them these LEDs lasted a year. Um, they were well overdriven. So um, yeah, they uh, well, it wasn't a very good um, installation job. So what I did is I went on AliExpress and got myself these pack of um, three watt replacement chips. They are I mean, it costs a few dollars for twenty of them. Um, you can see they are actually are slightly larger as expected. Um, so my plan is is to leave these in situ, desolder these blown one watt LED chips, solder in these three watt uh, 700 milliamp chips and um, make sure there's heat sink compound uh, and just solder them, replace them all. I'll probably mark on here for the next person um, that there actually were three watt LEDs in here. Um, and you can see I'm not sure if you can make out in these. There's a little hole in the base of these. That's the negative. And on, there's no hole on the end of this. Um, that's the positive. They are um, DC LEDs and a DC driver, so you've got to get the polarity correct. So the first thing I'll do is um, I will stop the video. I'll pause the video. I'll just go through and unsolder um, this dead chip. Be right back. I'm just going to try to 
pull this chip off if I can. Oh, there we go. That's one end. I'll just take the bottom off, the tab off, and there we go. Um, so you can see there's thermal paste. I'll wrap. Um, then we'll paste the back of this chip up first. So I've just got a bit of thermal compound, which I will dab a small bit on the base. Oop, it's more than a small amount. And check my negative at the bottom stick them on let's see if I can flow a bit of solder on to get it into, into place Oop. There we go. Make sure it's pushed down to get a good uh, thermal conduction onto the um, board below so it won't have a heat. Okay, now that um, that's soldered in, I'll just uh, turn the power on, see if it works. There you go. All we have to do now is hopefully I've got a decent uh, thermal conduction between the, the, the new chip and the board. Oh, got to touch the screws. So yeah, the electrician who either didn't understand or didn't read the specs properly just ended up costing me a bunch of time to replace all 20 or all 18 of these, um, these LED wall lights. So I guess that's what happens when you build a new house. You find all the problems. It's just a shame that it's taken me five years to finally get around to doing this job. Right, um, hopefully that inspires someone to you know, have a look at your, fix your LED wall lights if you get a, find the same problem. Okay, something else I've just found um, as I've been going through rewiring the, replacing all the chips, this, uh, this light here, um, I replaced the chip and it still didn't work. So I pulled the unit out and discovered this. That the, the, that the electrician had um, not really screwed it in properly. I was just sitting there floating on that, probably arcing. Um, didn't check his work. Yeah, I'm not that impressed with whoever the electrician was in this house. So yeah, another thing to fix. At least I found it. So that's it. All of the wall lights are done. They're all working. Another job done.